All right, guys, Tattoo Toy Hunter here. Gonna make my way into Walmart real quick, just making a, a nighttime run. Uh, I wanna look at the clearance aisles, the construction sets, the mega constructs, the regulars, the pops. So we'll see you inside, wish me luck. I like these movie moment ones. They're pretty cool that they're doing that. Okay. We've got Thundercats with Power Rangers. Oh, man. And the Thundercats, Thundercats would have been cool. Power Rangers. I wonder if there's any in there. Thundercats. I see it already. Yeah, I can see Thundercats. I see one box that's in the bottom right. Hi. Hi there. I wonder where the... What makes it a chase or ancient... These are pretty good size. My partner and I here at Walmart just looking around and she came across these Thundercat Classics mystery uh, figures, mystery boxes. And they've got some really, really cool looking characters as you can see. Plus there's a chase involved in one of them. Look at the limited edition all gold lino. I really like these, this is really cool. So I'm gonna take three of them for now. And these are fully posable. <gasps> she found them. These just came find? out. These are the mega contracts. Remember I have He-Man and I have Wait, Skeletor. Yeah, I, but. I didn't know they, I was looking for these. Well, they're out. <clears throat> wow, good find, partner. Woohoo! Wow, I came over here yesterday and they weren't here. Okay, I'm taking them. Admit it. Who's the better toy hunter? All right, you are. You mm -hmm. found these really sweet Thundercat Classics mystery boxes, fully posable, fully articulative, which is awesome. And also, let's see if I can hold these. You got Tila and Beastman, the next uh, second wave of Mega Constructs, Masters of the Universe figures. That Beastman is the, the one I really want, but I'm gonna take them both. So awesome little haul. Sweet. Nice. So we're gonna get back to the station and we're gonna open all these up. <clears throat> Careful master. Of the universe. <laughs> He's sinking. He's sinking. <laughs> sinking. <laughs> poor poor. Pog went down hard. Pog down. Pog down. <laughs> Pog in distress. <clears throat> oh, what, you know what I got too uh, the other day is I got a uh, we went to Ross mm -hmm. and I found some of these guys. Hey look, now they have the, the uh, Ninja Turtles and Mega Constructs oh, too. Yeah. And they come in a little ooze cylinder. Michelangelo. The capsule that they had ooze like in the originals. <laughs> Still happy about Antila. Okay, so I'm gonna purchase these five little figurines and that's gonna be my Walmart hunt for today. I cannot wait to open the Thundercats up. I'm checking those out too. So see you guys soon. So we're having the manager check because they're coming out to almost 50 bucks for the three little boxes. $13 each. So we're gonna find out what's going on guys. We'll be back with you shortly. I didn't find them over there. They're by the Star Wars thing. Yeah, they're there. There's a whole well, box. The ones of them. I saw were eight seventy eight and twelve ninety three. They're right there. Yeah, these are twelve ninety three. Yeah. So Star Wars right under the pops.
What are they scanning? There was only one box of them too. I didn't see any ones separate from that. Then do the override. <laughs> so that entire section, it shouldn't be all three packs of all of them are there, and they shouldn't be there. So she called somebody to go and move everything. Instead of doing the override on them. Okay. Just hanging in the Yeah, with those. If they ring up. <laughs> if she was going to <laughs> if they another, ring up with their. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She was going to another place on the other side. Twenty three forty nine. I don't think it's an ass. No. Oh, okay. It was Star Wars and Justice League. Oh yeah. See all all three Thank of you. Sorry about that. Okay. None of those should be there. I'm having you carry my bag. Oh, How are you all doing? Doing good. 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 I, don't know where, I think mine is in there. Yes. You need a toy, huh? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, guys. So the reason she earned her famous Walmart Rambler name, she actually... <laughs> <laughs> We're not changing it. <laughs> you earned it again. <laughs> she actually, they had a bunch of stuff. Those Thundercat Classics should be $12.93. They had them all in the wrong place for $3.91, $3.92. And uh, she went with the manager to the back, showed her. We have photography of the misplaced prices and everything. And then the lady checking us out wanted to just sell us one. And she said, no, give them all three. So we got for... It was going to be near 50 bucks. We got them for 12 bucks plus tax. So all in all, good deal. So we will see you when we get back to the station and open them up. Catch you later. What's up, guys? Tattoo Toy Hunter here coming to you with a quick recap and unboxing over what we just purchased at Walmart. As you can see, if you watched the beginning of the video, my partner helped me get these at a great price. They're regularly $12.93. And I got them for $3.92, I believe, because they mismarked them on the where they were being put up. But these are amazing. They have uh, the whole wave is an option you can get. It looks like eight characters. And in the back, there's two. You have a chance of getting two chases, which is the Solid Gold Lino and the Ancient One Mumra Limited Edition. Uh, can you imagine if I got both chases? Because I don't know how many of these I can get. At that price, $12.93, it's just too expensive for me. So some people may not think so. But these are just little mystery boxes. I also got uh, these Mega Constructs. My partner actually found all of these. She's the one that landed all this stuff for me. She was found them hidden. These were hidden underneath some Power Rangers. And these were in the, in the wrong place too. And she found these Series 2, which is Beastman and Tella. I love them all. I already got He-Man and Skeletor. Now I got two more. And one of uh, my buddies on the Syndicate and Open Box Mafia group told me that they have a Bender and they have a Fry. Fry and Bender, which are two of my favorite cartoon characters from Futurama. So I want to get those next, but I'm very happy to land these two. I'm not going to open these today, however. So we're going to get into these three boxes. Wish me luck. I really want to get this uh, two chases, or at least one of them, and I'm hoping... If nothing else, I don't want to get any doubles or triples like I have recently. <clears throat> so I got a handy dandy steak knife from the kitchen. We're going to go ahead and dig right into these boxes. Okay. This will be the first box. Okay. Very nice looking box. I love the artwork on it. These are all taped up, so. Oh, these are I'm gonna have to tear the box open okay so you get this cardboard box open 
and they're in really cool looking foil packaging. <sighs> Smell good. So, the first one we have, oh, it's Mumra. Can I already tell the staff? So this one is, this is the common Mumra. So we just got, it's not the Chase, but he does look amazing. If you can see there, he has a, a lot of articulation. His head swivels, <clears throat> arms swivel up and down. No ankle, no elbow, but the arm up at the shoulder has articulation. He does have a abdominal swivel. He also has foot swivel. They do not go up and down. And he also has a articulation at the upper thigh. So very cool figure for a little mystery. And his staff is amazing. This is all uh, well done as far as <clears throat> the sculpting of the body. You don't just see just paint. So he looks gorgeous. The eyes are beautiful. The, the mummy strips there are amazing. Soft plastic. And also look at all the detail in his uh, staff with that skull there and the horns. Just gorgeous. So I'm very happy to land him even though he's a common. He's not the ancient one that's the limited edition which is okay I I mean I'm sure there's a percentage chance and I didn't think I was gonna be that lucky anyway but he is awesome so that's gonna be the first one really really cool Mamra is a cool character if I have to get a common I would rather have had him in full full gear here when he has his power when he's powering up so getting into the second package I'm not even gonna, now that I know I have to tear it open, I'm not gonna bother with the little tape. All right guys, so here is the second package. Oh wait a minute. He does look like the, <clears throat> he looks exactly like the limited edition, right? Do you think? because it's up and down and well he looks like the other one too though <laughs> there's got to be more to it I, I think he's not because I think it would have said on this little paper they look exactly the same I don't see what the difference is oh well I'm not sure I don't think he is because I think it would have said on the checklist here but uh, anyway, let's go and move on to the next one. All right, guys, here's the second package. And we got, again, Mumra. <laughs> we got a double. And again, this one I think is the regular. No, these two have different papers. You can see here, this one says the ancient one and has GID underneath it. And this one does not have the same writing. So, <clears throat> the, uh, let's see. If you look at the pictures, one's up and down. So I think we did get the Chase limited edition with this new one. This picture has him holding it across like the common, which has the GID. I need to see what GID means. Oh, the limited edition, the limited edition chase is the GID. So this one is the limited edition. How you know, like, I don't see any difference. They look exact same, but this one, the card says that this is the limited edition. And this is the common. And here's his staff. So I got a common and I got a chase, I'm guessing. But their characters are the exact same. The only difference is the actual cards that came out. This one, if you look here on the back. If you look on the back of the card, the limited edition has GID on it here and the common one does not. So the first one is gonna be the limited, uh, the, the chase. So anyway, 
I digress. Let's go ahead and open this third one up, and I'm really hoping for anybody other than this guy at this point. <laughs> Again, come on, <laughs> no more mumras. <laughs> and we got no way, but we got the fully dressed out one, which is amazing. That is, this is what the one I wanted if I had to get a mumra. I've got three mumra, but this one's in his fully powered up uh, gear. Yep, he looks good, he looks really amazing. I mean. Maybe these are worth 12 bucks. I mean, they're, but the thing is, I don't want to spend 13 for the same one. So I'm glad I got them for three. But as you can see, I've got the limited edition Mumra ancient one. I've got the common Mumra ancient one. And then I got full on, full on Mumra, battle damage Mumra. So that's going to be what I got out of this unboxing of these mysteries. I think they look incredible. Uh, unfortunately, the regular Mumra does not come with any kind of equipment or gear, so that's a little bummer. I thought he would still keep his staff at least, but apparently not. So this one will just hold his staff. So that's going to be my haul, guys. Stand up, buddy. Yay. This will be my haul. Two Mumras, ancient ones and regular Mumra, and also my two Mega Constructs. All right guys, so this is the Tattoo Toy Hunter coming to you with another unboxing. <clears throat> Y'all take care. Remember, never give up that hunt. God bless you all. Have a good day. Bye. Yeah.